In this lecture, we are going to implement the auto login functionality. Let me show you what I mean by that. So currently, if we log into this application, let's say using John Smith account, and when we click on this login button, John Smith user has been logged into this application. Now, as soon as I refresh the page here, you will notice that that user has been logged out. And since the user is logged out, you're seeing this login link. So this is not the behavior which we want for our Angular application. What we want is after a user has logged in, even after the page is reloaded, we want to keep the user logged in. Reloading the page should not log out the user. The user should be logged out only after he clicks on the logout link or if the access token is expired. Now, the problem why the user is getting logged out whenever we reload the page is because when the page reloads, that means our complete Angular application will restart. And when the complete Angular application will restart, all these codes will be re-executed. And when all these codes will be re-executed, in the auth service, we have this user subject. So this subject will also get recreated. And initially, the value of this subject is null. And the logic which we have implemented so far, according to that, if the user is null, that means we are going to log out the user from the application. Right. So every time we are going to reload the page, this user subject will be reinitialized. And when it will be reinitialized, it will be reinitialized to null. At that time, it is going to log out the user. And this is happening because we are storing this user subject, that means the user data in memory. And when we store our Angular application data in memory, when the application restarts, that memory gets cleared and then all the properties and variables are recreated and reinitialized. So here what we are going to do is instead of storing the data in the memory, we are going to store it in some storage. And when we will store that data in some storage, even after the page gets reloaded, the logged in user data will still persist. And since we are working in the browser, we cannot access the device file and folder, but we can work with cookies or with local storage of the browser. So in this lecture, we are going to store our access token in the browser's local storage. So here in the auth service file, when a user signs up or logs in, we are going to receive the user data in the response. And based on that user data, we are creating a user object using this handle create user. So if I scroll down here, we have that function handle create user basically here we are creating a new user object using the response data which we are going to receive while login or sign up so once we have created the user and once we have emitted it using this user subject what we are also going to do is we are going to store this user data in the browser's local storage for that all we have to do is we have to say local storage dot set item and here we need to specify a key, a name for the local storage variable. Here, I'm simply going to call it as user and then the value which we want to store. Here, for this local storage variable, we want to store the user data. So I'm going to specify it as user. Now, this user here, it is an object, right? And in the local storage, we can only store string values. So here, we need to convert this user object into its string type. For that, we are going to use json.stringify and it is going to convert this user object into its string type. So basically, it will convert that user object to string and then it will be stored in the local storage. So now, if we save the changes, let's go to our application. Let me reload the page and let's also open developer console here. Let's go to application tab. Okay. And here you can see local storage and there you can see our Angular application URL. Currently, we don't have any local storage. But now if I log in here in our application, let's say using John Smith account, let's specify the password for this user. And when I click on this login button, you see it 
variable called user has been created in this local storage and its value is this object. So this is the value which we are storing in this local storage. And there we also have the email of the user, the ID of the user, the expires in time and also the token value. Okay. So currently we are simply storing that user data in the local storage, but we are not using it anywhere. So still, if I reload the page, we are going to be logged out from the application as you can see. So now what we are going to do is we are going to read this local storage data, this user data from the local storage. And based on that, we are going to restrict the auto logout when we are reloading the page. Let's go back to VS Code. And here I'm going to create a new method and I'll simply call it as auto login. Inside this function, first what we are going to do is we are going to read the user data from the local storage. For that, we can simply say local storage dot get item because here we want to read the local storage. Now, which variable do we want to read from the local storage? We want to read the user variable. Okay, and let's go ahead and let's store it in a variable. Let's simply call it as user. Now, this user, we have saved it as a string value, right? And to this user variable, we want to assign the user object. So what we are going to do is we are going to convert that user string back to JavaScript object. For that, again, on this JSON, we have a method called pass, which converts a string value to its respective JavaScript object. Okay. Now what we are going to do is we are going to check if this expression here, it returns us a user object, then it's fine. Otherwise, if it does not return us a user object, so we are going to check that condition. If it does not return us a user object, in that case, we simply want to return from here. We don't want to do anything. Otherwise, if this check passes, that means we do have a user object. And in that user object, we are going to have these properties, this email, ID, expires in and token. So based on these values, we are going to create a new user object using our user model class. So here again, I'll create a variable. I will call it logged user. And to create this user, I'm going to use the constructor of user class. And when we are calling the constructor of this user class, we need to pass the value for email, ID token and expires in. So here let's simply say user dot email, then user dot ID. Then we also want to pass the value for token. So user dot underscore token. Right. This user object here, it also has the token value and then expires in. So let's say user dot underscore expires in okay so based on these values we are creating a user object now what we are going to do is we are going to check if this logged user if it has a token okay so this logged user it is an instance of this user class right and there we have this token property, this getter property. So here, if the token has expired, in that case, we are going to receive null. Or if the expires in property does not exist on that user object, in that case also, we are going to receive null. Otherwise, if the token is present on that user object and if it is valid, if it has not expired, in that case, we are going to receive that token. So here we are checking if the logged in user has token, it, if the logged in user has a valid token in that case again we are going to call this user subject and from there we are going to emit so in order to emit we need to call this next method we are going to emit this logged in user all right so this is our auto login function now from where we are going to call this function well whenever the angular application reloads the first component which it is going to call is the app component, right? So what we are going to do is 
let's go to app component so here I'm going to open app component.ts there the first thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to inject an instance of auth service here so let's create a property let's call it auth service it is going to be of type auth service and to use this auth service we also need to import it from this file path and in order to inject an instance of this auth service we are going to make use of this inject function and again in order to use it we need to import it from angular slash co and there we'll specify the type as auth service so now angular knows that it has to inject an instance of this auth service inside this app component and now what we'll also do is so i'm also going to implement ng on init lifecycle look here and this should be on init or should be caps and i should be caps and this ng on init it is provided by on init interface so i'm also going to implement that interface okay and inside this ng on it what we are going to do is we are going to call this auto login method of this auth service so every time the application will reload this app component will be rendered first and when this app component will be rendered we are going to call this auto login method and it is going to log in the user again so from here let's simply say this dot auth service dot auto login let's save the changes and let's also clear this local storage let me log in using john smith account and let's click on this login button so now john smith is logged in and using his credential we are fetching the data from the database all right and you can see that user detail has been stored in the local storage of the browser now if i reload the page you see now we are not getting logged out we are still logged in if i refresh the page again still we are logged in we are not getting logged out because every time i am reloading the page this app component will be rendered and when this app component will be fully initialized this ng on init lifecycle hook will be called and from there we are simply calling this auto login and from within this auto login method we are emitting a new user object right so this user is not going to be null and that's why we are not getting logged out from the application now why this logged user is not going to be null because we are reading the data for this logged user from the local storage only if in the local storage we don't have any user data then only it will log us out if i reload the page so if i go ahead and if i delete this local storage data this user data from the local storage and now if i reload the page you see now we are logged out and that's why you are seeing this login link so let's log in again so when we have logged in you can see that the user data has been stored in the local storage of the browser and now every time we reload the page it is not going to log us out it is going to keep us logged in so this is the auto login functionality which i want to implement in this lecture in the next lecture let's also implement the auto logout functionality this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day